Hi, welcome to the session of Plan With Me. So today, we'll discuss on how to manage your daily finances, your everyday finances. So last time, we talked about uh, the expense daybook, but today we want to talk about a bit more specific on managing your everyday finances since it's one of the most common questions we've been asked here in BDJ. First thing to do in managing your finances is creating an expense log. So an expense log is essentially writing every single peso that you spend on a daily basis. Do this at least for one week. If you can to do if you can do it for two weeks to one month, that's even better. But since we're trying to make small steps and seeing where it takes us, I recommend at least one week. So every peso that comes out of your pocket, whether it's cash, debit card, or credit card, you should write it down. So one suggestion by my friend here is actually to note it down in your phone because your phone is something that you carry with you all the time. So you can use that method, like you can use technology, or you can actually still use paper. So it actually just depends on you. So that's for our first tip, the expense log. So do it every single day and see what happens there. So this part is essentially analyzing and categorizing all your expenses together. So again, if you did just one week, try doing it so you can see your one week. And then you have to be able to analyze your expenses in tandem also with your planner. Because sometimes you'll be there will be weeks or let's say you're just in the office so you don't spend so much. But there were weeks where you have so many meetings out of the office. And usually when you have meetings outside the office, after your meeting, you'll, have, you'll grab coffee, you'll grab snack, a snack and all of these things. So it adds up to your expenses. So you kind of have to compare also or look at your planner and see what happened during the week. So this is very important because you're trying to project or you're trying to create your weekly or monthly budget. One of the most popular questions that we get asked is how much of your salary should you save? So a good rule is 10 to 30%. I know it sounds very big, so that's why there's a 10% so you can like work towards a 30%. That's how much you should be saving. So this is saving for the rainy day, this is saving for for insurance, it's saving for retirement, it's and a lot of people saving for passive income. So this way you won't just be stuck with only one source of income. So again, you'll just be able to do all these personal, all, all these investment or even these savings if you're able to do steps one and two. So those two things are very important. After the step two of being able to analyze and project and eventually project your expenses, then you'll see if 10% is feasible if it's not feasible, you have to look back and see which expenses can you cut down. Then slowly work towards on the 30%. You'll be surprised on how much you can save or where your money goes to actually if you just do one and two. And sometimes because we don't have like a specific goal that we want to be able to achieve in terms of financially, and it has to be really specific. Like for this month, let's say the 10% of a 30,000 salary. So you want to save like 3,000. So unless you have that something that specific, you end up like chipping away for the 3,000 that you're trying to save. Thank you for watching this episode of Plan With Me. If you have any other additional tips on helping Bellas or all Filipinos save or and manage their personal finances please do let us know so we can share it with the other girls thank you